In order to organize the information in this unit, I first want you to think of all the foods that you eat and try to categorize them into three basic food categories. For example, if I were to eat a steak, how might I classify this type of food? Hopefully, you identified carbohydrates, fats, and protein. Make sure to note that in biology, the term lipid is used to identify fats. So again, we have three major food groups, the carbohydrates, the lipids, and the proteins. As we look at each of these three food groups, I want you to always think about both the function and the structure of each of these groups. By the end of this unit, you will have to be able to visually identify the physical structure of these molecules, identify their building blocks, and be able to discuss their functions. So now, what we want to do is to organize the information in Unit 2 under each of these three categories. And as we begin to do that, I want you to think of each category in groups of three. You'll see what I mean as we go along. The first group we're going to start with is the carbohydrates. So if I were to ask you the function of carbohydrates, you would hopefully tell me that carbohydrates are a short-term energy source. The key being short-term energy source. Thinking in groups of three, the first of the three groups of carbohydrates is called the monosaccharides. If you know what the different parts of words mean, that can help you discover what we are talking about. So mono means one and saccharide means sugar. So we are talking about a single sugar molecule and it looks like this. Here is a simplified diagram that represents a six carbon ring. And for the purpose of this course, you will identify this diagram as a monosaccharide. There are three monosaccharides that you need to know, and they are glucose. And we're gonna talk a lot about glucose in this course because glucose is the main form of sugar found in our bloodstream. Fructose is the sweetest monosaccharide. And based on the name of this sugar, where do you think you might find fructose? The name kind of gives its source away. It is the main sugar found in fruits. And again, it's very sweet. And the third monosaccharide that you need to know is called galactose. 